Ever heard someone dismiss psychology with, that's not real science, it's just guesswork. If you've ever cringed at that comment, you're not alone. First, let's clarify what defines a pseudoscience. Philosopher Karl Popper, yes, the same one who shaped scientific methodology, argued that genuine sciences must be falsifiable, meaning their claims can be tested and potentially proven wrong. Pseudosciences, in contrast, often rely on vague predictions, anecdotes, or untestable hypotheses. Think astrology, which uses broad zodiac traits that fit anyone. Now, where does psychology stand? Modern psychology emerged in 1879 when Wilhelm Wundt founded the first experimental psychology lab, measuring human reactions with stopwatches and controlled conditions. Since then, it has evolved into a field rooted in empirical methods, hypothesis testing, peer-reviewed studies, and replication attempts. For example, the Big Five personality model, openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, neuroticism, developed by psychologists Paul Costa and Robert McRae, is based on decades of cross-cultural data analysis. Its claims are testable. If a new study found no link between these traits and behavior, the model would face revision, a hallmark of real science. Let's tackle the common sense myth. Imagine someone says psychology just states the obvious, like people get anxious before exams. But wait, does psychology stop there? No, it quantifies asterisk, why asterisk, cognitive appraisal theory, how we interpret threats, asterisk, how asterisk, physiological changes like increased cortisol, and asterisk, how to help asterisk, cognitive behavioral techniques to reframe thoughts. These aren't guesses, they're conclusions from randomized controlled trials and brain imaging studies. What about the unreliable critique? True, some early psychological studies, like the famous Stanford prison experiment, faced replication issues, but that's part of the scientific process. Fields like physics also revisit findings as methods improve. Today, initiatives like the Reproducibility Project systematically retest studies, refining our understanding proof that psychology corrects itself just like any hard science. So to wrap up, psychology is asterisk, not asterisk a pseudoscience. It's a diverse evidence-based field that uses scientific methods to study the mind and behavior. The confusion often comes from conflating pop psych, for example, 10 ways to read minds with academic psychology, which demands rigor. Action step, next time someone questions psychology's validity, ask them to name a specific claim, then check if it's backed by peer-reviewed Research, journals like asterisk psychological science, asterisk are a good start. Curious about other psychology myths? Or have your own experience with this debate? Drop a comment, but we'd love to hear from you.